Hello viewers, welcome to Selenium WebDriver videos, myself Udai. In my previous video, I demonstrated about how find element works, right? WebDriver's find element will return you the first instance of the web element when it meets the given criteria, right? If we didn't find out any web element or object in our application, which will throw no such element exceptions, which is what I explained you in my previous video, right? But there are situations where we, we may need, like, you know, uh, we may have a test case which returns you a collection of web elements or controls. For example, to say, here I have my Google web page which have couple of web buttons and couple of links. I would like to print out all the button names. How can I do that? When I give my criteria, which will return you a collection of objects, which cannot be handled by find element, right? So we have an another method called find elements. You need to observe here F, okay? Whereas in previous we used find element. Now we have a method called find elements, which will return you the list of web elements as you can see here. All right. So here what I would like to do here is I want to print out all the button names which are displayed in my Google page. For that what I'm doing here is the criteria will be same. Whatever the criteria that we are giving in find element, we need to follow the same kind of syntax and we can give the criteria here. So because I want to print out all the button names, I'm just giving my criteria as by dot tag name of type button, right? Which will return collection or list of objects. So basically what find elements will do is if which have like you know more than one control or which basically just return you the list of web element which can be a zero length list or which can be as many number of objects displayed in in our application because as you can see now we have two buttons right so what web driver will do is which will return you two objects of type web element because which is a collection i am capturing that into list object for example say i have some unknown uh, like you know button name or i have given some wrong uh, uh, criteria during that time also web driver will return you the list but that time the size of this collection will become zero all right so let me show you with an example at this moment so that you will get an clear understanding as you can see i would like to print out all the button names right so i am capturing that into my link collection i am just finding out the size of that if i have more than one button controls available i am just printing the names of it all right so let me run this script and show you what is getting printed here Google page opened as you can see which has three buttons displayed in this space uh, Google has given have one button with empty text name so which doesn't display anything here whereas you can see the other two button names Google search and I'm feeling lucky these are the two button names you can do different criteria like if you can print out all the links which are available in here you just change the tag to a where which will give you all the link names I'm just printing out uh, like the size of that and I'm printing all the link names just let me execute and show you how it is getting printed here As you can see, all these are the different links available in this space. There, Google has given some empty names to some set of links. Whereas you can see, these are the special characters because of the language. Like you know, we have a different language. So for that, which has displayed like question mark and the rest of all the other link names which got displayed right so basically find elements will always return you the list of objects which meeting this criteria 
right which can be of uh, the collection can be of a zero length or as many number of objects which meeting this criteria right so there are uh, this uh, in this demonstration i have shown you like the collection is having more than one web control right so now what i want to do here is i want to give an another example where which returns you zero collection how we can handle that so i have another example here okay uh, let me show you this so basically what i am doing in this example is i have one login page if you have given a like you know username as xxx and password as yyy which will print welcome the username all right if you have given some different values say something sorry uh, say some different values here which should print login failed all right so i have a test case where what it has to do is if i enter valid password we should print welcome username but we should not print login failed so what i'm meaning here is i enter username as xxx and password as yyy when i click on login what it should display is we just needs to display welcome but we should not display login failed right because it is not showing login fail now which is what i want to print it now so how can i do that this is a code i am opening this web page entering username and password and after that uh, let me show you the source code of it so that you will get an understand of what i am doing here this is the source code username password which have submit button and these are the two labels if i enter the username as xxx and the password as yyy which will print the welcome if it is if i didn't enter these values which will which has to print out login file so my what my test case says is if i enter this we should just uh, like you know we should show this and we should not show login file all right so for that i have my script here like upon clicking on click uh, click button login button i want to verify the label one if this is displayed welcome message displayed accordingly but we should not display login failed so i am capturing this label to into here you can see i am using find element all right i am getting the like you know uh, search criteria i am getting this web element if it is not displayed i just want to print out my test is passed but here what it will selenium web driver will do is which will look for this uh, login file label which doesn't exist so which will return you an exception let me show you what is what exactly is going to happen here basically which will throw you no such element exception because login when successful login we don't have that login fail right so which will report you that no such element exception will be found here as you can see welcome message is displayed because login failed label doesn't exist which will throw you no such element exception right so how can we handle this situation right so as i told earlier we have find elements which will return you zero or as many number of web controls uh, collection right so here what i am doing is i am using find elements all right which i am capturing in this list element uh, list collection and i'm just getting the size if the size is equal to 0 because here now the the element doesn't exist what it will throw it will return you the zero collection object so i'm just comparing if i get zero collection then my test is passed right that is how we will validate right so let me execute this and show you how it is getting printed here now Firefox instance started, entered username, password, and 
where we have seen this message as you can see my test got passed now all right so that is how we use find elements to find out like you know if we have more than uh, if we if it if we have to return more than one web element control which we will capture in this list object though there are some instances we do, we doesn't know that the element may not exist during that time also we use find elements where which will return you the zero collection object all right we just compare that with a zero if it doesn't show out which will return based on our test case we can add the logic for it so that's all in this video thanks for watching this video please leave your comments about this video thank you